If you've never been to a high school girls basketball game, you really ought to make that a priority. I mean, there is nothing more entertaining. And I'm just telling you, when you have a little girl out there, that game has a way of, of drawing you in in ways that can cost you your witness. I'm just going to tell you that. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> my, I, think, I think I have permanent damage to my tongue for biting on it so hard during these basketball games. And, and before, uh, say, before I go on with this story, let me just say this. I have great respect and great admiration and great gratitude for the men and women who wear stripes. I mean, let me tell you something. If you're an official for a high school basketball game, you deserve a medal. Because every time you blow that whistle, half the crowd hates you. And they let you know it. So I have great respect. In fact, our experience in high school was incredibly positive with the officiating that took place. Except for one summer. All right, so... So when you have a high school athlete, it's a year-round thing. It's a year-round commitment. So my daughter, when it wasn't basketball season, she was playing in all these tournaments in her off-season team. You know what I'm talking about. So we had this tournament one time down toward Atlanta. And it was one of these tournaments. All these teams show up and they play. Well, in this game, it was very, very obvious that the officials and the coaches for the other team were buddy-buddy. And it was very obvious that they allowed that to impact the way they called the game. Now, I know, I know, as a parent, I was biased. I get that. But even parents on the other side were questioning what the officials were doing. Some of the teams that were watching our game, ready to, waiting to play later, did not want that officiating crew officiating their game. Do you know why? Because they were biased, and their bias cost them their credibility as officials. That can happen to Christians. You and I, our job is to take kingdom principles and apply them with impartiality to the kingdom of this world. And when the world watching us sees us applying different principles to different people, we can lose our credibility. Now, there are many ways this happens. I'm just going to, by way of application, I want to share with you perhaps the most tempting way uh, this can sneak into a Christian's life. It's in politics. So, so here's what happens in politics. We live in a country, Christian, understand this. We live in a country where you and I have the great privilege to have a voice in who rules over us. That is a tremendous privilege. That's why I believe it is a Christian duty to vote for the person who best aligns with what the Bible teaches. I believe that is a Christian duty. I believe what Jeremiah says applies to us. We are to work for the welfare of our city. Even when our city may appear to be pagan sometimes, we're to work for the welfare of our city, just like the Jews were to work for the welfare of Babylon. Voting is a way to do that. But here's what can happen if we're not really, really careful. We can get so caught up in championing for the candidate we know to be the best candidate that we become very vocal about pointing out the spiritual deficiencies of the other side while remaining strangely silent about the spiritual deficiencies of our side. Listen, if we're going to be vocal about spiritual and moral problems in a political race. Let's be sure we are acting, we're doing so with impartiality because here's what happens. The world's watching. And the world watches Christians and they say, wait a minute, you'll point that out, but you'll remain silent about that. Why should I trust you as an official? We can, we can win elections and lose credibility if we're not really careful. James is telling us, look, Christians, in all, man, in all manner of things, be sure that you are acting impartially when bringing kingdom rules to bear in our world. Thank you for watching this video on First Redeemer's YouTube channel. If you enjoyed it, click like below and leave us a comment. And if you'd like more content like this, click subscribe and turn on your notifications. Thanks again for watching.